You've told me some things about your life. Want to hear mine? They're all connected with the sea. Here's one. I was on the square head square rigger bound for Buenos Aires. Full moon in the trades. The old hooker driving 14 knots. I was lying on the bowsprit facing astern with the water foaming into spume under me. And every mast with sail, white in the moonlight, just towering high, high above me. I just became drunk with the beauty and the singing rhythm of it all. And for a second, I lost myself actually lost my life. I was set free. I dissolved into the sea. I became white sail and flying spray, became beauty and rhythm, became moonlight and the ship and the high dim starred sky. I, I belonged without past or future with within peace and unity and a wild joy within something greater than my own life or the life of man to life itself to God if you want to put it that way and another time on the American line when I was I was a lookout in the crow's nest on the dawn watch Calm seas that time, just a slow, drowsy, just a slow ground swell and a drowsy roll of the ship. And all the passengers were asleep below, and none of the crew was in sight. No sign of man anywhere. Black smoke pouring out of the funnels behind and beneath me. And just daydreaming, not keeping look at, just feeling alone and above and apart watching the dawn creep like a painted dream over the sky and sea which slept together. And the moment of ecstatic freedom came, the peace, the end of the quest, the last harbor, the, 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 the joy of belonging to a fulfillment beyond men's lousy, greedy fears and hopes and dreams. Many other times, swimming far out to sea or lying alone on the beach, I've had the same experience. Became the sun, the hot sand, green seaweed anchored to a rock, swaying in the tide like a saint's vision of beatitude, like the veil of things as they seem, drawn back. And for a second, you see, and seeing the secret, are the secret. For a second, there is meaning. Meaning. Then the hamlets of Ale fall. You're alone. Lost in the fog again. Stumbling onto nowhere for no good reason. <laughs> <laughs> it was a great mistake my having been born a man. I would have been much more successful as a seagull or a fish. As it is, I'll always be a stranger who never feels at home, who does not want and is not really wanted, who can never belong, who must always be a little in love with death. <laughs> You've told me some high spots of your life. You want to hear mine? They're all connected with the sea. Here's one. I was, I was on the square head, square rigger bound for Buenos Aires. Full moon, the trades, the old hooker driving 14 knots, and I was lying on the bowsprit facing 
astern, with water foaming into spume under me. Every mast with sail, white in the moonlight, towering high above me. I just I became drunk with the beauty and the singing rhythm of it. And for a second, I lost myself. I actually lost my life. I was set free. I dissolved into the sea. I became white sail and flying spray. I became beauty and rhythm and became moonlight and the ship and the high dim start sky. I, I belonged. Without past or future, with, within peace and and unity and a, a, a wild joy within something greater than my own life or, or the life of man. The life itself. God, if you want to put it that way. And then another time on the American line and I was looking out in the crow's nest on the dawn watch. It's calm seas that time, just a slow, lazy ground swell and a slow, drowsy roll of the ship. Well, passengers were asleep and none of the crew was in sight and just no sign of man anywhere. Black smoke pouring out of the funnels behind and beneath me, daydreaming and just not keeping a lookout, just feeling alone and above and apart, watching the dawn creep like a painted dream over the sky and the sea which slept together. And the moment of ecstatic freedom came the peace, the end of the quest, the last harbor, the, the joy of belonging to a fulfillment beyond men's lousy, greedy fears and hopes and dreams. Many other times, you know, swimming far out to sea or lying alone on the beach, I've had the same experience. It became hot sun and came the, the sand and the green seaweed anchored to a rock just swo floating in the tide like a saint's vision of beatitude like the veil of things as they seem drawn back by an unseen hand and for a second you see and seeing the secret are the secret and for a second there, there was meaning. In the hamlets, the veil fall. You're alone, lost in the fog again, stumbling onto nowhere for no good reason. It was a great mistake, my having been born a man, I would have been much more successful as a seagull or a fish. As it is, I will always feel a stranger who just never feels at home, who doesn't want and is not really wanted, who can never belong, who must always be a little in love with death. You just told me some high points in your life. Want to hear mine? <laughs> They're all connected with the sea. Here's one. I was on the squarehead square with us bound for, uh, for Buenos Aires. It's full moon in the trades, you know. The old hooker was driving 14 knots, and I was lying on the, the bowsprit facing 
astern with the water foaming into spume spew under me and every every mast with sails white in the moonlight just towering high above me for a second I I became drunk with the, the, the beauty and the singing rhythm of it. And for a second, I lost myself. I actually lost my life. I was, I was set free. I, I dissolved into the sea. I became white sail and flying spray. I became beauty and rhythm. <laughs> Came the moonlight, the ship, the high dim starred sky. I belonged. I was without past or future, within peace and unity and a wild joy. Within something greater than my own life or life of man. Life itself to God if you want to put it that way then another time uh, on the American line uh, when I was look out in the crow's nest on the dawn watch it's calm seas that time just a lazy ground swell and a slow drowsy roll of the ship all the passengers were asleep below. None of the crew was in sight. No sign of man anywhere. Black smoke pouring out from the funnels behind and beneath me. Just daydreaming. Just not keeping lookout. Just feeling, feeling alone, above, and apart. Just watching the dawn creep like a painted dream over the sea and the sky, which slept together. Then the moment of ecstatic freedom came. The peace, the end of the quest, the last harbor, the, the joy of belonging to a fulfillment beyond men's lousy, greedy fears and hopes and dreams. <laughs> Many other times, you know, swimming far out to sea or, or, or lying alone on the beach, I have had the same experience. I became the sun, the hot sand, green seaweed anchored to a rock, just swaying in the tide. Like, like a saint's vision of beatitude. <laughs> like the veil of things as they seem, drawn back by an unseen hand. For a second you see, seeing the secret, are the secret. For a second there is meaning. Then the hand lets the veil fall, and you're alone, lost in the fog again, stumbling onto nowhere for no good reason. It was a great mistake, my having been born a man. I would have been much more successful as a seagull or a fish. As it is, I will always be a stranger who never feels at home, who doesn't, doesn't want and is not really wanted, who can never belong, who must, must always be a little in love with death. Huh. You've just told me some high spots in your memories. Want to hear mine? Want to hear mine? 
They're all connected with the sea. Here's one. I was on the squared square rigger. Uh, this is bound for Buenos Aires. Full moon in the trade, see old hooker jive in 14 knots. And I was lying on the bowsprit facing astern with the water foaming into spume under me. Every mast with sail, white in the moonlight, towering high above me. I became drunk with the, the beauty and the, the singing rhythm of it. For a second, I lost myself. I, I actually lost my life. I was set free. I, I dissolved into the sea, I, I became white sail and flying spray. I became beauty and moonlight and rhythm and the, the ship and the, the, the high dim starred sky. I, I belonged without past or future, within peace and unity and a wild joy, within something greater than my own life, for the life of man, to life itself, to God, <laughs> if you want to put it that way. Then another time on the American line, uh, I was look out in the crow's nest on the dawn watch. Calm, calm sees that time, just a, just a lazy ground swell and a, a slow, drowsy roll of the ship. None of the, all the passengers were asleep below, and none of the crew were in sight. Just no, no sign of man anywhere. Black smoke pouring out from the funnels behind and beneath me. Daydreaming, not not keeping lookout, just feeling alone and above and apart. Watching the dawn creep like a painted dream over the sea and the sky, which slept together. Then the moment of ecstatic freedom came. The peace, the end of the quest, the last harbor, the, the joy of belonging to a fulfillment beyond men's lousy, greedy hopes and fears and, and dreams. And several other times, swimming far out or lying alone on the beach, I've had the same experience. I became the sun, the hot sand, green seaweed anchored to a rock swaying in the tide like a saint's vision of beatitude. Like the veil of things as they seem drawn back by an unseen hand and for a second you see the, you see and seeing, seeing the secret, you are the secret for, for a second there is meaning. There, there's meaning in the hand. Let's the veil fall, and you are alone. Again, lost in the fog, stumbling on to nowhere for for no good reason. It was a great mistake, my having been born a man, I, I would have been much more successful as, as a seagull or a fish. As it is, I will always I'll be a stranger who never feels at home, who doesn't want and is not really wanted, who, who can never belong, who must always be a little in love with Death. 
You just told me some high spots in your life. Want to hear mine? They're all connected with the sea. Here's one. I I was on the square at Square Rigger. It was, um, bound for Buenos Aires. Full moon in the trades. The old hookers jive in 14 knots. and I, I lay on the bowsprit facing stern. Water foaming and a spume under me. And every every mast with sail white in the moonlight just towering high above me. I, I became just drunk with the, the beauty and the, the singing rhythm of it all. And for, for a second, I lost myself. I, I actually lost my life. I was set free. <laughs> I, I, I dissolved into the sea. I, I became white sail and flying spray. I became beauty and rhythm. I became the moonlight and the ship and the high dim starred sky. I, I belonged without past or future with within peace and unity and a wild joy with within something greater than my own life or, or life of man to life itself God if you want to put it that way Then another time on the American line, I was, I was lookout in the crow's nest on the dawn watch. Calm seas that time, just this, this lazy ground swell and a slow, drowsy roll of the ship. The passengers were asleep below and none of the crew was in sight. There's no sign of man anywhere. And I was, you know, Black smoke was pouring out from the funnels behind and beneath me. It's daydreaming, you know. Not keeping lookout. Just feeling alone, above and apart. Just watching the dawn creep like a painted dream over the sea the sky which slept together and the moment of ecstatic freedom came the peace the, the end of the quest the last harbor the, the joy of belonging to a fulfillment beyond men's lousy greedy hopes and fears and dreams Many other times, you know, swimming far out to sea or, or lying alone on the beach, I have had the same experience. Became the sun, hot sand, green seaweed anchored to a rock, swaying in the tide like a saint's vision of beatitude. Like the veil of things as they seem, drawn back by an unseen hand, and for a second you you see and sing the secret, you are the secret, and for a second there is meaning. Then the hand lets the veil fall. You're alone, lost in the fog again, stumbling on to nowhere for no good reason. It was a great mistake. 
my having been born a man, I would have been much more successful as a seagull or a fish. As it is, I will always feel, I'll always be a stranger who never, never feels at home, who doesn't want, has not really wanted, who can never belong, who must, must always be a little in love with death. <laughs>